All right, so just dropped the kiddos off at school and now I've got to get some coffee because I had not, I have not had one ounce of coffee this morning yet and I just need some coffee. <laughs> Today's kind of a crazy day. I'm just home this morning, packing up and then hitting the road. But today I want to talk about gear and I want to talk about how in the beginning it actually hurt me and how now it actually benefits me. But first, roll the intro. So I completely forgot I had a dentist appointment today. So I'm heading there now really fast. I should be able to make it on time. Uh, and then I gotta get an oil change too. I, I drive a lot of miles and sometimes I forget to get an oil change. So while I'm out running around, that's what I'm gonna do. Heading to the dentist now. So yeah, I got through my dentist appointment. No cavities, we're good to go there. And uh, had a couple other appointments real quick. But I wanna to get to the point of the vlog today, which is I wanna talk about gear. And not specific gear, but mainly knowing your gear really well. So what I mean when, when I say know your gear, whatever level of gear you have, get to know it inside and out. I used to use gear as an excuse not to create things. When I was younger, when I was playing music and everything, I would always come up with a reason that, oh, I need better gear so it sounds better. Or, I, you know, it does, it's just not professional. The perfection side of me was just like, yeah, if it's not perfect, I don't, I don't even want to mess with it. The real issue was I wasn't learning the fundamentals of of what I was trying to accomplish with what I already had. If you want to make films, if you want to do photography, you can use your cell phone to learn. I personally use my cell phone to learn a lot. Ultimately, I want to grow and I want the quality of the vlog to be better. And in order to do that, yes, I need to add better gear. But before I get better gear, I wanted to make sure I understood aperture and lighting and all kinds of things like that because if you don't understand that on the most basic level, it, your, your good gear is gonna be useless. I, I used to use that excuse all the time. That's why I'm talking about it today because learn to use what you have. Like I, I learned a lot just using the app Filmic Pro and it was pretty cool because Filmic Pro allowed me to, I think people think I'm doing, like I'm on a dam right now over the, uh, the water here and there's a road and people keep driving by super slow staring at me. It's kind of funny. Anyway, I used the app Filmic Pro and what that taught me a lot about was like rack focus, f-stops, uh, frames per second, all those kinds of settings that are crucial no matter what kind of gear you have. Sometimes the gear you have is good enough. People don't realize it. People think, oh my gosh, the new Canon came out. I have to get that or else my videos are irrelevant. And it's just not true. Many times, if you can master your own gear and what you have now, it'll look a lot better than if you just buy new gear and have no clue what you're doing with it. All right, so at the bottom of this dam, there's this really cool reservoir, and I wanna go down there and get some B-roll. So I'm gonna try to get down there before it gets too dark. Okay, so by the time I finished that time lapse, it got extremely dark, so I had to scrap the B-roll, but I'll go down there a different day because I, I vision this really cool B-roll sequence down there, and I wanna take the time and do it right, not just rush it. So yeah, to finish up about gear, get to know what you have. A quick metaphor for it could be like, if you're learning to build a birdhouse, you, you take your hammer and your nails and your screws, and you learn the fundamentals of building a small birdhouse. Once you have that down packed, then you can get bigger tools, better quality tools, and you can build an actual house. 
when you build an actual house versus a birdhouse, the quality is going to be so much better. The problem is if you didn't understand how to build that birdhouse initially and you went and tried to build the real house, chances are you're going to have a lot of um, uneven surfaces and gaps in the walls and it'll be a really drafty house. Bottom line, learn your tools, get to know them. I'm still learning continue to learn with me. One thing I learned recently was on the last Peter McKinnon video about um, tips. I think it was like camera tips two or whatever. White balance. That was huge for me because a lot of times when I'm in a hotel room, I have that bright orange light and I laughed so hard when he said it looks like a pumpkin exploded because that's how I feel in a hotel room when I'm doing a, a locked shot and just talking to the camera, I look and I look back at the footage and it's just bright orange. And I felt like there was nothing I could do about it. Going forward though, I know now I can change a couple settings and it will look more normal. So do I believe in getting awesome gear and, and upgrading so you can upgrade the quality of your vlog or videos? Absolutely. I don't think there's anything wrong with, with getting new gear, but make sure you understand the gear you have now so that when you do upgrade, you're you're actually upgrading. Otherwise, you're just kind of wasting your time and money experimenting with something new. My goal is to get so comfortable with my DSLR that it's it's just intuitive and I can focus on shots and consistency and, and making sure lighting is correct. I wanna make sure like touching the screen and making the settings different I don't even want to think about that, like B-roll. I want to be able to bam, okay. And my camera only does 60 frames per second. So when I do a B-roll sequence, it's like, I know, okay, 60 frames per second, shutter speed 125. And, and I can just instantly roll into that. Earlier in the vlogs, I had to sit there and like thumb through my screen. Okay, what was that? And look it up online. What was I supposed to do? Where now, especially when you're a daily vlogger, the better you know your gear, the more precise you can be, the quality goes up and the time, you gain time. And with that time, you can actually choose your shots better and just up your game. So I'm not saying I'm an expert with gear by any means, but I am learning. The reason I feel like I can talk about this is because I've seen this throughout my life, whether it's in music gear, computer gear, camera gear, it doesn't matter what it is. I've always let the gear be the excuse when really it's just me. I have to sit down, learn it really, really well, and just create what I can with what I have. So I hope you like this vlog. If you liked it, uh, give it a give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe to it. And if you really want to know when I upload, uh, hit the bell down below, and I would appreciate that very much. So tomorrow is a travel day. I'll be gone. I'll be like Northwestern Illinois in a place called Galena, Illinois. And I have a lot of stuff planned and I'm hoping it works out. <laughs> but again, another work event, but I have some other cool stuff planned in between. So I'm going to get some rest so I can get up early and head out tomorrow, but I will see you on the road tomorrow.